Hi, Coach Brian here. Barack Obama in his Asian tour will be visiting Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Meeting. That's going to be in Singapore this year. And he'll be attending that after he finishes up in Tokyo. The meeting is between 21 nations that make up the cooperation. And it's an important one for several reasons. Chief of which is many economists believe that Asia must lead the world out of recession. Yes, this is something new. Developed countries will not be leading us out of the global recession. It will be developing countries like India, China, Japan that will lead the recovery, the global recovery. Remember, they weren't hit as hard by the derivative financial tools that a lot of European and American banks bought into, a la the housing bubble. So they didn't have much leveraged into that, so they weren't affected as much. So they have a lot of cash on hand, and they're very influential, much more influential, influential than they've ever been in their history. So they're going to start taking a leading role in a lot of global issues because they have money to dole out. Um, also, the very, the very fact that President Barack Obama is attending the APEC meeting, that proves that Asia will be an important player in the global economy. It opened on Friday. It provides opportunities for CEO, CEOs in the Asia Pacific region to hear from APEC leaders and international thought and business leaders on ways to address the present financial crisis. This year, the theme of the event, Rebuilding the Global Economy, Crisis and Opportunity, focuses on how to counter the international financial crisis. So they know that they have a lot of work to do and they're going to be taking a leading role in this recovery. And many believe that Asia must open up the markets and streamline its financial systems in order to lead the global recovery. China is at the head of that. They are starting to open up some of their monetary and financial uh, systems to streamline them more, to get more investment in there from America other countries, Europe, and they're starting to do that. And China said they will lead that Asian push to open up those markets and let the economy start to rebuild. But also they said be careful because to slow down these stimulus packages, they're going to have to watch. All these countries got stimulus packages, not just the U.S. So. Yeah, they have to watch that very closely to make sure those stimulus packages don't, in effect, create another crisis, a la inflation, a la um, a lot of worthless money, the devaluing of the yen, the devaluing of the car, stuff like that. This has been Clifford Bryant, your examiner. Thank you.